Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my September and October faves and flops. So this list isn't going to be super, super long because as you may or may not already know, I did do a whole 13 looks of Halloween series in October. So I didn't try a lot of new products in October. I was really just working with what I already had, but it's a lot of really fun stuff and some really not so fun stuff. But if you are interested in seeing all of my favorites and flops from the months of September and October, then just keep on watching. First things first, I did film this look. It is for an upcoming series. It'll be up in a couple weeks, I want to say. I'm kind of pre-filming right now. I'm getting back into the comfort that is non-Halloween related content because Halloween content and upping my content schedule is exhausting. So I'm super excited to be doing like normal looks again and you know going back to my regular two days a week at least for now because I'm tired. <laughs> my very first favorite from the month of September and October is actually sitting right in front of me but I'm not going to pick it up A because it's pretty big and B because it's a mirror so I'll blind you. So I'll put up a picture on the screen for you guys from the Amazon listing um, but it's my new mirror and I love it because it's big and it's it has lights on it you plug them in you plug it in to turn on the lights I haven't had a need for it yet because I have my mirror for regular like when I'm just putting on my makeup I have my mirror right in front of a window if I'm filming I have my studio lights on so I haven't had a need to turn it on yet but maybe for those like really rainy days when those happen rarely ever but um, my biggest concern when I was looking for a new mirror, because my other one just flat out fucking broke on me, um, my biggest thing that I was looking for with a mirror was a really sturdy, stable base. So what I love about this one is it's actually made entirely out of metal. There is no plastic to the base whatsoever. So I really feel secure in that it is going to last and it's not going to fall apart on me. It's, you know, the little connecty pieces aren't going to snap or whatever. It's, it's really heavy duty. It's pretty heavy. It's not like aggressively heavy, but it's pretty heavy. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm super excited with the mirror. It's huge. It's really, really clear. Um, you can adjust the, the light brightness. You can adjust, I believe even how warm or cool it is. I don't remember, but I think so. Um, but yeah, super great mirror. It was actually really, really affordable too. So highly recommend if you are on the hunt for a new mirror. All right, next favorite was actually a huge surprise for me. I did not expect to love this as much as I thought I would. And I actually had tried this out prior to filming with it. And I mentioned in that video that I did not like it. So the fact that it's now one of my favorites is was quite a surprise for me, but this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Plumping Lip Gloss. And this actually came in a, like a Sephora little kit. I, oh, I unboxed it and swatched it in my Sephora haul, which I will link up in the eye and down below. I remember trying this on the night that I got it and being like, wow, I hate this, my lips are on fire. And then I just kind of grew to love it. Basically, how I use this is every morning, or rather any time that I start doing my makeup, I will apply this lip gloss on while I'm doing my eyeshadow, and then I'll just wipe it off really quick, do everything else. My lips look super plump and super just like juicy with it on. It also makes my lips a little bit more red too, so they have like a really nice color to them while the lip gloss is on and then even after I remove the lip gloss my lips still feel very very hydrated they don't feel like dry or cracked or anything like that so I actually really really like this I'm almost out of it because I use it literally every single day um, I do think that sometime down the line I will purchase a full size of this I have a couple other random lip glosses and things that I kind of want to just use up while I'm like doing my makeup in the morning just to get rid of them so they don't go bad but down the line I could definitely definitely see myself using 
and purchasing a full size of this lip gloss. All right, let's talk about a flop. This is dirty because I used it and uh, didn't wash it before filming, but this is the LA Girl sponge. I got this and tried this out in my 4,000 point Ulta haul, which I will also link up in the eye and down below, but I really don't like this sponge. I really, really don't like it at all. It's really hard, first of all, even like it's dry right now, but even when it's wet, it still has like a, you hear that? Like a punch to it. It kind of punches you in the face when you use it. And also the way that the sponge is, whatever it's made out of, it picks up the foundation and moves it around. It doesn't aggressively absorb the product. It just kind of moves it around and you'll end up with little like circles from the edge of the sponge kind of all over your face and it just kind of picks it up and puts it where it wants it to. Next favorite might actually be my top favorite of the past two months and that is the Milani Weekend Brow Pen. So what this is, is just a brush tip applicator, a lot like a liquid eyeliner, but not nearly as pigmented as a liquid liner and definitely has a, a lot finer of a tip to it. But I love this for putting on my eyebrows. It's, I could see this being perfect for both people with fuller brows who just want just a little bit of coverage, and, or not coverage, who just want just a little bit of color, or even people like myself who have really sparse brows because you can get in there and make the most beautiful little brow flicks in your, in your brows. I love it so, so, so much. It lasts all day for me. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't move around. I'm in love with it. I love this product. It is awesome. And also the color is like perfect for me. So that's a huge bonus. Another favorite that actually came from my Ulta 4000 point haul is the NYX High Gloss Primer. So this primer is super awesome. Honestly, I think this primer is pretty much a dead on exact dupe for the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, but this primer is so awesome. It leaves the skin just beautifully glowing without being too overpowering. It's not sticky. It's not too slippy. It really just feels like a moisturizer on the skin, but it leaves behind just the most beautiful sheen. It's not the kind of primer that's going to make your makeup last longer. It's just meant to make your skin look more luminous and radiant and dewy and it's just an absolute beautiful primer and I love it so much and I'm so glad that I got it in that uh, haul. Another flop that is actually also from the Ulta 4000 point haul is this Fourth Ray Strawberry Face Milk. I have previously owned and completely used up the Fourth Ray coconut face milk and I did really enjoy that. It wasn't like revolutionary by any means, but it was nice. It felt good on my skin. My skin didn't have a bad reaction to it. It smelled good. Like it just, it overall was, it was good enough for me to want to try another scent or flavor or whatever of it, but it wasn't like so revolutionary that I'm like heartbroken that this didn't work out. But my qualm with this is the scent. The scent of this is just, it's just, it is revolting to me. It is like spoiled children's, no, you know what it smells like? It smells like fucking spoiled gogurt. Like it smells like children's yogurt, but also with a hint of like rancid in it. It's just, it's bad. Um, the product's fine. I used this like two or three times and then was just like, I can't do it anymore. Unfortunately, between that haul and now I moved. So I threw away the box for it. So I can't even return this. Honestly, I am not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing with this, but I am also filming a skincare declutter right after this video. So I have a feeling I'll end up deciding in that video what it is that I decide to do with this. 
Another favorite, and this is actually the second one that I purchased, is the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. This stuff is so incredibly awesome. It gets everything out of your brushes. It will leave behind just the slightest little bit of stain if you're using a really brightly colored eyeshadow. It will leave behind a stain, but it's just the bristles that are stained. It won't be like, it won't come off when you go to use that brush later. But yeah, this is awesome. I have to be very, very careful with this because I will fall into the habit of going, oh, well, I just have the, the brush cleaner, so I don't need to wash my brushes. And then I'll hit a point where I uh, will go through half of one of these bottles to clean all of my brushes in one sitting when I could have just washed them. So I need to make a point to only use this when I specifically need a very specific brush clean right now. But that is, that is what this is for. It is perfect for quick cleaning of brushes. Like say you really love your very specific brush, but it's got purple all over it. And now you're trying to do an orange look and you got to clean it off. This is perfect. And it dries super, super, super quick. And once it's completely dry, it actually smells really good. It's weird because it smells horrific in the bottle and your brushes will smell horrific right after you clean them, but give them like 10 minutes and they'll smell like vanilla. It's very interesting once all the alcohol kind of just evaporates away, but this stuff is awesome. All right, I have two favorites and two flops left over, so let's get through the flops so that we can end on a good note. My next flop, I actually put it into a different bottle to see if that would help. So I'm going to put a picture of it up on the screen right now, but it is the e.l.f. Micro Fine Setting Mist. So my issue with this is something to do with the product itself. Um, it has actually absolutely nothing to do with the container with the spray bottle at all. That was what I originally thought the problem was, but the problem is actually with the product itself. So this is the product in a different bottle. This is a Flower Beauty spray bottle and Flower Beauty spray bottles have the most fine, beautiful, just like light dusting of mist. So I thought this bottle would be perfect for it, but I was wrong. So as you can see, it's got like a milky consistency to it. Um, it also comes with here, if you can hear it. It comes with like a little mixing ball in there to mix up the product, um, which is interesting. That's not really something that you see in a setting mist that's not like supposed to be dewy, but there is something about the product that makes it that when you spray it, it comes out in one straight stream. It always clogs this and just, renders it unusable. So see, can you even see it? Oh, there you go, you saw it. So, I have to make sure I don't drink this hours old coffee now. <laughs> um, but yeah, no matter how many times I have cleaned these spray no nozzles, no matter switching it into a different bottle that I thought would be better, it's just, it keeps clogging it and I won't realize it until, um, after I spray my face with it. And since it does have that more milky consistency to it, it ends up putting shit all over my face that I don't want there. So for me, this product is just straight trash. I'm, it's, I can't do it anymore. I'm not going to continue to try to run the whole thing underwater every time I wanna use it. It's just not worth it to me. The last flop is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzers. So I actually tried to use this in one of my Halloween videos. I'll link it in the eye because I don't remember which one it is right now. But I tried to use this and my issue with these is how incredibly just like hard pressed they are. Nothing comes up. Like, I mean, something came up there, but that's not going to show up on a brush and that's not going to show up on your face at all. It has next to no pigment to it whatsoever. Brushes just don't pick it up because it's so hardly pressed into the pan. They're just a flop for me because I don't want to have to work to bronze my skin and I don't really have the patience or the care to like crush them up and make them more 
loosely pressed. That just doesn't, I mean, maybe, I don't know. Maybe if I'm bored, I might do it, but it's like a lot of work. And rubbing alcohol is like really hard to come by these days. Also, that is not to say, by the way, that you may not love those bronzers. I am somebody who likes more pigment, more coverage, more, just more, more, more. You might be somebody who likes just the lightest dusting of bronzer, and then in which case that bronzer would be perfect for you. It's just not, it's not it for me. All right, next flop, I don't actually physically have in front of me because I have completely taken them out of their packaging altogether, but they are the Kiss Max Out Lashes, which I will put up on the screen right here. So I tried these in my Ulta 4000 point haul as well, and I love these lashes. They are gorgeous, they're not super heavy, but they're super long and impactful and dramatic and just, they're the type of lashes that I absolutely adore wearing. I'm not wearing them today because I did need, I wanted just kind of a softer lash for today's look. Today wasn't super like punchy and in your face, so it didn't need a crazy look. But I absolutely adore the Kiss Max Out lashes. I will say that on the packaging, it does say limited edition. So if you are interested in picking those up, definitely pick them up sooner rather than later. Last but certainly not least, this is, it's kind of like an old favorite and a new favorite at the same time. I used to use this concealer all the time. And then just kind of out of nowhere, I just stopped. I think what it was is that the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer came out and I was like, oh, okay, I'm done, I'm done. This, this, that's my one true love concealer. But I repurchased this because I was just getting kind of bored of using the same concealer every single day. I do still love the e.l.f. concealer, but I just wanted something new. So I repurchased this to see if it was still something that I loved using, and this concealer is awesome. It's definitely a little bit more matte than the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, but this concealer is awesome. It's super full coverage, it's brightening if you want it to be, or you can get it to more closely match your skin tone. They have a ton of shades for this concealer, which is awesome. My actual personal favorite way to wear this concealer is actually mixed with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I feel like it kind of, the two just balance each other out really, really well. So I'll just do a dot of this, a dot of the e.l.f., and it's just perfect match made in heaven. But definitely love this concealer. All right, guys, so those were my September and October faves and flops. Comment down below and tell me what your favorite and least favorite product that you've tried recently is. I would love to know. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!